Well, you mentioned the word Toyota is struggling to go electric, and that's that's true. But think about it. If you're in the same position, you land that great job, you're making bank well ahead of all your peers, then you get tapped on the shoulder by your boss and she says, hey, I'd like to take you over to a new division. It's a startup. It's promising, lots of potential, but all you can hear is downside risk. That's where Toyota is today. Damned if they do, damned if they don't. And the street is not happy. Hey, Toyota, we want you to move faster. It, it is fair to say, though, Michael, that uh, Toyota is behind the curve in terms of EVs, yes? They're trying to catch up, obviously. They are. They are behind the curve. And just this week, you know, California sales came out. And guess what? Tesla surpassed Toyota for the first time as the overall best-selling car in the market. Uh, that's a kick in the shin for Toyota. That would be a wake-up call to them. We know we have a new leadership as CEO, Mr. Sato, and we I totally... and expect him to move faster. But what do we know about the Japanese way? Typically, it's methodical, measured, not breakthrough. So look for Toyota to play catch up in the electric space. Now, having said that, guys, in fairness to Toyota, hey, why why should they move all into electrics? They're doing they're the most profitable company in the world, the biggest automaker in the world. And there's many markets around the world, say Indonesia, for example, or uh, Brazil, where gasoline engines are still dominant. So I understand and I empathize with Toyota saying, hey, we don't have to race to EVs. We'll get there, but at our own pace. Okay, so this whole thing, this, this fight with uh, uh, Tesla, Tesla overtaking uh, uh, Toyota uh, in California. Uh, some pictures we were just looking at, and I think it's uh, easy to uh, underestimate just how important uh, the emotional aspect of, of, of uh, buying a car is. I mean, people buy cars for basically two reasons, right? Either A, they save a heck of a lot of money, nice econo boxes with, which get great mileage, or because the car looks great, looks sexy, right? And if I'm not mistaken, this is the new Prius. And for the first time in the Prius's history, this is a car that looks sexy, at least I think personally. And, and I, I, I reckon this is something that Toyota is betting on uh, to try and fight against uh, Tesla, no? Uh, absolutely. You know, just moments ago, I said their revolution is not their comfort zone. But look at that new Prius. They've definitely proven that they can break out if they need to. And they, they've done so with the Prius. It's really good looking. It's an eye catcher. Huge improvement over the predecessor. So Toyota understands its predicament and knows it needs to get there. It's just a question of how quickly.